to all signs tarot this is a daily love reading for the sign of taurus for the 24th of march 2022 holy spirit show me the taurians who need to hear these messages today the queen of swords okay that's libra that's also governed by venus though libra or aquarius we've got aquarius energy here that's also a fixed sign okay queen of cups okay there's some kind of third party situation here it could be that somebody is getting a divorce because of another woman. It's possible. Also, this could be like, um, this could be you and the, your love interest. So, yeah, you're either the Queen of Swords or the Queen of Cups in this uh, case. If you have a lot of air in your chart, maybe you're the Queen of Swords. If you have a lot of water in your chart, you could be the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Hearts. Uh, but... Um, there's another possibility here. If you're the one who's scorned, if you're the one who um, is considered to be the third party, so to speak, then you're the queen of swords. You could be somebody's current wife or partner, and this person might divorce you because they want to be with somebody else. Because they're in love with somebody else. The five of swords is also here. This could be a love rival. Yeah, so somebody who um, wants to be with the same person as you. Okay, again, also this could be the person who broke your heart. So the Queen of Swords could have broken your heart or the Queen of Hearts could have broken your heart. But yeah, um, this one doesn't have any more heart. This one's heart might be broken, I'm not sure. So what's going on here? What's, it, what's this uh, Three of Swords here? Look, another Queen on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's the end of a relationship here. There's the end of a relationship because of a third party. Somebody is in love with somebody else. So yeah, it's a rivalry between two women. One woman's heartbroken. She could be mad at the other woman. She might want to lash out at the other woman. Okay. So what's the message here? Let's see, the fool. The Fool is a new beginning here. Somebody's taking a leap of faith. Like I said, they're leaving one relationship for another. I think that's the leap of faith they're taking. They're, they're cutting somebody out. But they're very anxious about this. They're planning... Okay, they're planning to reunite with somebody. So this is somebody who could have been in a relationship, but they left that relationship behind because they want to take a leap of faith and uh, travel possibly because the Fool and the Two of Wands make me think of traveling. So somebody might want to travel um, to the person that they're in love with to reunite with them. So this could be a past person. Queen of Cups could be an old love, right? So they could be uh, leaving their current partner to be with this uh, old love that they may have renewed feelings for. Could be. It could also be a past life soulmate coming back to them in this life. Yes, okay. So that's the situation we've got here. Nine of Cups. Somebody feels a man, probably an Aries, possibly, feels like um, there's a water sign woman here from their past with their wish fulfillment. So, or somebody who has lots of water in their chart. Could be the queen of their heart, so to speak, the queen of hearts, okay? So, yes, Knight of Swords. This person is going very fast towards the person they're interested in. Look, Six of Cups, Six of Swords. Again, I think they're traveling, traveling overseas somewhere, far away. To get to their soulmate. Yeah, so they're quickly leaving somebody behind and traveling to the, their soulmate, their, their past person. The sixes talk about the past. It also talks about love. Love from the past. Six of cups. Could be from childhood or it could be a soulmate love. Anyway, two of pentacles. Okay, they're trying to balance the situation out. Also, they could feel imbalanced. They could feel like uh, four of wands. They just want to get to the celebration as much as possible, as fast as possible. Seven of Wands, Ten of Wands. But there's a burden here because there could be a blockage. It could be that this person from the past is blocking them out of their life. Or, yeah, there's some kind of blockage in the way of them being together. What's the blockage here? What's the blockage? Seven of Pentacles. Something's growing. They could be in a relationship, possibly. Or they could be pregnant. King of Cups. The blockage is the King of Cups. The Queen of Cups has a King of Cups, okay? Yeah. And the King of Pentacles is now on the bottom of the deck. 
yeah so this woman's in a relationship maybe for seven years uh, they could be married or they could just be uh, cohabiting for seven years or more so that's the blockage two of swords yeah that's the blockage two of swords can be a blockage it could also be a decision look two 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 Two, two, two could be this significant for somebody here. It could be a synchronicity. Maybe, you know what? This is Pisces. The Queen of Cups is Pisces. And the 22nd of February is in Pisces season. Technically, it's kind of like on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces. But whatever, it's in, in Pisces season. So somebody could be dealing with a Pisces. Look, I've got the Four of Swords here. 24 could also be significant. Okay. So there was a break, there was a pause in this relationship, and during this pause, so this is somebody they known, they've known a long time ago. This man has known this woman a long time ago, or it's a past life soulmate. And they want to be with this woman, but this woman's in another relationship for a while now, for years, at least seven years. Maybe they've known each other for 24 years, it could be. Anyway, let's see. We've got Seven of Cups here. So this man's fantasizing a lot about what it could be like with this woman. This could be a Pisces woman again, or a Scorpio. There could be a, a Scorpio and a Pisces here. 75 could be significant. Somebody could be born in 1975, possibly. King of Wands. Again, we've got Fire Sign Energy. It could be an Aries or a Leo who is interested possibly in a Pisces Or a Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Okay, so this man definitely wants to go and make some kind of offer. even, And they might want to apologize for something. So even though they know that this woman's in another relationship, they might still take a leap of faith and uh, go and, and talk to her. So th this could be you or this could be the other woman. I'm not sure. Anyway... Because I don't have a lot of earth energy here, which is weird because it's Taurus reading. Anyway, you could have more of other elements in your chart than Taurus, maybe. Who knows? Okay, so yeah, this person does want, this man wants to go towards this, this woman. They're leaving, they left somebody already and they're going towards somebody else. They're taking a leap of faith even though the somebody else does have somebody else too. They really want a new beginning here. They might just want to sleep with her though. Because we're ending with the Ace of Wands. So they might want to apologize and try to be friendly and stuff like that. Because they actually want to sleep with her. Is that the case? Does this woman only... I mean, does this man only want to sleep with a woman? Yes, it's true. Oh my god, I caught him. I caught him. Look at that. The Ace of Cups in the upper for me, it's a clear yes. Yeah, he just wants to sleep with her. 11 could be significant too. Okay, so yeah, this if you're the woman this man is coming towards, do not take the bait. Because I think this man is just trying to mess up your relationship. They just want to sleep with you and then walk away again. And the King of Wands is very non-committal. It's usually, even if it's an older person or a business owner, a boss of some sort, they, they're usually somebody who's very non-committal. And they might be making you a gift with the Knight of Pentacles, but it's just to convince you. They might apologize for something and give you a gift, but it's just to convince you to sleep with them quickly. And then they're, they're out again. Okay, so this is a warning for somebody. Okay, that's the message I got. Anything else? I think that's quite, quite enough information for one day. Ten of Cups. So there's a Ten of Cups coming in for you. Four of Pentacles. Hold on to your Ten of Cups. Okay, that's the message. If you're this woman and you have a lot of Pisces or other elements in your chart, um, don't take this man from the past back because he just wants to sleep with you and then walk away. I got a clear yes when I asked that, right? So hold on to your family. Do not um, let it go because of this person. This person's kind of like in their ego. They're, uh, they just want to prove something to themselves. And maybe to their friends. So be careful. Because this person might make you look bad afterwards. And uh, look, Six of Wands. Yeah, it, it's... Um, they want to brag about the fact that they slept with you. That's what I'm getting. So be careful. Take care of your family and forget about uh, the, this person here. I hope this helps. Take care. Bye.